Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Hebrews chapter number 12, verse 28, 29. Activating the fire of God. And here we are seeing another kind of fire, or a kind of fire called consuming fire. And around this, we are in series 27. So we have three more to conclude the Monday series. The Bible is saying, our God, the God we serve, is a consuming fire. So the fire power we are taking tonight is consuming. When we know how to activate the fire of God in our lives, it produces consuming power. And this consuming dimension of fire is that we need when we are dealing with the demons, when you are dealing with the Satan, when you are dealing with witches and witch witchcraft, when you are dealing with the sorcerers and their sorcery, when you are dealing with the magic charms and the magic spells, it is the one that we need when we are dealing with Freemasonists, Illuminatis, occults, and traditionalists. It is a consuming fire that we need when you are dealing with paganists, with the atheists. As long as they are at loggerhead with us, you know, as long as they are not challenging us, me, me, I normally say, I have no issue with you. Whatever you worship, that's none of my business. My, my, my business comes in when you use what you worship to fight me. <laughs> then at that point, I will allow my crows to come out and the roar will be released. We need the fire of God in a consuming level because we are living in a world whereby mockery, jealousy, envy, treachery, we chant, conspiracy, betrayal, traitors, character assassination is norm of the day. And in most cases, the people who do these things, they are not the kind of the people we will be in a position to counter. For instance, your own mother can be used by Satan against you. How can you start fighting your own mother? Which words will you use? But if you're a consuming fire, she will do whatever she is doing, but the fire that you carry will be disciplining her in secret. You'll only be seeing manifestation. And me, when I realized that uh, the people mostly who the devil uses are those who are very close to me. And when I mean close, I mean closest. Those who are closest to me that past those people, it is me. If you go beyond those people, now it is me. I realized in major cases, I am not in a position whereby, by the way, I don't know how to defend myself. I don't know. Me, who can do things to me and I will just look at you. We argue eventually, I, and I, I eventually give in and I tell you it is okay. But do you think I just give in? No. I retreat back. And I go and kneel down. And I report all that to God. And in some cases where there is a need to do something extra, I do. So this consuming fire, we need it because of our own safety, because of our own protection. Those people we are working with, many of them are not interested with who we are. 
you may think you are walking or going on a journey with somebody, but they have no interest with you whatsoever. Actually, they are imagining the worst of you. So how would you counter that kind of a person? Become a fire. Let the fire do the work for you. Hmm? Let the fire do the work for you. And as you notice, you have taken a series. This is the 27th series. We will go to 28th, 29th, 30th. We we'll conclude at 30th. Because we want God to make us frames of fire. We cannot be forever fighting this called Magini, embargoes, religions of demons. They bring things at your door and they are able to, to affect or to affect or infest your life with negative world powers. And we just say it is no more. Not we, not so. We will be stepping on their witchcraft and we shall be destroying it when they are looking at us this way. And in, most, in some cases, or in most cases, that same, same witchcraft, when we step on it, we will be releasing it back to them. As Atonando, me, I am tired of living with the hypocrite in this world. The fire of God will be exposing you. You will be set ablaze. You will be being reduced into ashes. Because we are in times of seriousness of God. These monkey game issues must come to an end. So when you see me activating the fire of God, it's because I mean serious business. And me, in terms of God, I don't care who starts on the way. I don't care. As long as you are affecting God in me, whether you are my wife, whether you are my child, whether you are my mother, whether you are my brother, whether you are my sister, I don't care who you are. God comes first to me because I wish I had this God in the beginning. Now I've come to know the importance of this God. I don't entertain anything that may try to jeopardize my God because there is somewhere I'm going with this God. So from this scripture, how do you activate the consuming fire? Number one, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, key number one, receive the kingdom of God. Jesus taught us, and you pray, pray this way, thy kingdom come. First of all, receive the kingdom of God. And Jesus said, seek ye first the kingdom of God, of heaven. So key number one for you to walk with this fire, you must come out of the world and enter into the kingdom of God. Number two is let us be thankful. The more we develop a tongue of gratitude, the tongue of praising God, the tongue of thankfulness, that dance giving is just like uh, something you would use to fan and to frame the coals of fire. So the point is, the more, thank you, Lord, one, two, okay, thank you, Lord, the more you become thankful, your thankfulness develops the fire of God in you. Mm. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> the Holy Spirit is speaking to me and I need to write it down before I forget. The next thing is, and so worship God acceptably. Worship God. Worship God, but acceptably. So worship God. How do you worship God acceptably? You worship God acceptably in spirit and truth. And then, last three says, with levelings with benevolence, with honor, with respect, where you pay homage, with the benevolence, fear of God, and in our way. So these things, when you put them into your activity or into your nature, you walk with the consuming fire. Number one is, the kingdom that cannot be shaken. Number two is thankfulness. Number three is worship God acceptably, which Jesus said is worship in spirit and truth, or offering your body as a living sacrifice in Romans 2 verse 1. And then number four is with levelance, fear of God, and with the hour. Our means accepting to be amazed of God. 
This way you become consuming.